on a journey. I am, however, right now, quite dazzled by the sight we have in front of us. Ha ha. That's because our giraffe just disappeared. Don't worry, I will get us another view. That was the cryptic link. We had a journey of giraffe, but they've disappeared for now. But we're fortunate enough to have zebra and giraffe, two of Africa's most iconic creatures, in one sighting. There we go. Look, there's a giraffe and a zebra. And in such a gorgeous setting as well. Now, these giraffe are actually quite timid. So we'll give them a bit of space to just become accustomed to us because I'm hoping that they and the zebra are going to start making their way back towards the waterhole. And maybe we can have a combination of the two of them drinking. It's always interesting when tourists... Oh, there's a bit of a fight happening here. Let's calm down now. It's always interesting when tourists come to visit South Africa, they... One of the first things they really, really want to see, or two of the first things they really want to see, are zebra and giraffe. As exciting as the lions and the leopards and the traditional, in inverted commas, big five are, there's also a phenomenal attraction to the uniqueness of a zebra and a giraffe. There is also, if anybody's interested, a band called Zebra and Giraffe in South Africa. That is not a happy zebra. They've obviously coming into conflict, a little bit into conflict with each other. You can saw the ears back there, just like a horse. Reading zebra's body language is relatively simple, especially for people who are horse riders or familiar with horses. And you can see it. They, they're unsettled. And it's not for any other reason other than that is just what zebra do. They come into conflict with each other. There's infighting within a harem. And she looks as though she's causing nonsense. She's in a foul mood. Years back. Not a foul enough mood to stop her from feeding, though. And there are giraffe straight into the sunlight. But I'm still going to sit patiently and wait here. That's another thing that I'm really excited about in Kenya, is seeing a new species of giraffe, to see the Maasai giraffe. That's also going to be truly thrilling. And compare them to ours, and to see the differences. But there is comfort in the familiar, and I'm enjoying spending time with these fascinating creatures. There is a massive game path, so a path that is well trodden, almost like a hiking trail, just on the other side of this road, and I think that's where these giraffe and zebra are aiming. And it leads across the drainage line and then towards the pan. So I think if we just sit tight, we might be in for a treat. I think if we try and... Oh, look at that! That's very cool, Dave. Stripes and spots. Stripes and patches, I suppose. Giraffe aren't really spotted. They've got patches. And there we go. There's one for Taylor and her Bums of Africa calendar. A series of stripy bottoms. I'm actually going to sit here patiently because I think this promises to be a beautiful scene. But while I do, Byron has found a very large antelope on foot. <laughs> 